Jesse Good here. Today we're taking a look at a very old Lego set. This is from 1977 and it's just called the doctor's office. Now you guys may be like, what the heck are those? And these look pretty creepy, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, or weird or whatever. But this was actually before the traditional Lego minifigure. They had these big figures with these brick built bodies and these strange arms and strange head. Not really familiar with them. This is one of the only sets I have with them. And this one is all the way back, like I said, from 77, and the minifigure came out in 1978. You can see a little bit of differences there. Now this is unopened, really dirty box, but uh, let's see, I gotta open this somehow. Guess I'll cut right here. And if you're wondering what this theme is called, it was actually called Homemaker. And it was just filled with different figures like these. Ooh, okay, that didn't seem like a good idea. I don't wanna ruin the box totally. I mean, I do wanna open it, but I wanna keep it Kind of safe. Oh, wait. Okay, okay, wait. I might be making progress. Ah, uh, there you go. All the pieces are just loose inside there. I mean, I don't know. I don't think this was resealed, but some of these do look admittedly pretty dirty, like this one right here. Uh, I don't know. Um, really hope this wasn't resealed. Could have been, though. I don't know where they would have glued it. Maybe they opened it this way. Hmm. Oh, we'll have to build this one up. So here is the set all built up, and for a little bit more context, these figures started appearing in 1974. Even though this theme has been around since 1971, back in 1971, it was still kind of the same style of these furnitures and stuff to make a home, hence the name Homemaker. But I guess you would have to fill in with other toys because there wasn't really too many Lego people back then. These are some of the earliest Lego people in the Lego system. So let's take a look at each of these figures individually. This first figure is the little girl getting a checkup, and the design for the hairpiece is actually the same on the doctor as well. The face printing is a little bit different though. Now, if you're wondering how these headpieces work, it's kind of interesting because this hairpiece just kind of slides onto the head. There's a slot there, and there is a stud up there and a stud at the side. Even though it doesn't really look like a stud because there's no Lego printing, you can't fit minifigures or whatever there, Little Mars Mission Alien. And it fits on pretty well. I thought it would be like a loose configuration since the stud doesn't really attach to the hair, but the hair itself slides on and, and it's on there pretty tight. So that's pretty neat. Beyond that, uh, the arms here actually have rotation, which I wasn't expecting. So you can move it 360 degrees. You could pull it out a bit and then you could move the hands around as well, which are on a ball joint of all pieces. So that's pretty cool. And those have studs at the end so you can make them hold things. As for their feet though, it's just kind of in this one positioning. I don't know, I like the top part, but I think they should have done, I don't know, maybe a different piece for the feet or something to make it more of a poseable connection. But these are just little figures that you're supposed to place in a home. So I kind of get what they were going for. As for the doctor, she's much taller than the little girl. She has a nice printed one by two at the front for the red cross. The design of the legs is the same where you can't move them or anything like that but she does have a dress going on. And the arms are a little bit longer where they have an extra one of this piece here. And it's like a slot configuration to connect the two, which is very hard to remove. It's actually easier to remove the hand ball joint, interestingly enough. But because she has that extra, I guess, extension to the hand, she has a joint that you can bend there, which is kind of cool to get some different poses. So in a way, these are a little bit more poseable than many figures at the upper body, at least. Now, if you're wondering how the head connects to any brick or whatever, it actually slides in via this little, almost like a pin, and it has to use a special body piece here, and that actually connects to these arms as well. So it's an interesting configuration, and yeah, this looks kind of creepy once you take it out. And of course, like I showed earlier, the hair works the same, and she has a new face print different from the other one, where she has a little glasses going on. The head gets lots of rotation as well, just like a Lego minifigure. But that's it for the figures. Let's take a look at the build for the set. Right here is a height measure. So it's a very simple build. And of course, there's very simple pieces. Don't expect too many prints or whatever, even though there are prints with that one figure. There's a table over here. And the table itself uses pieces that you'd find today. I mean, there's not too many rare or exclusive pieces in here. Because Lego itself is a system that's been around for so many years. At the top is a potted plant, which even uses the existing Lego plant piece, though the configuration on the flowers was a little bit different in its material. 
as is kind of the material of all of this, where it just feels a little bit more stale. It might be because this is an old set, an old copy of a set. So that's just an interesting thing to note. There's also a little chair here, which these are all really cool, smooth builds. I just wish that they had an option or a build configuration to make these characters sit, because really this chair is useless because none of these characters sit. So if you want to make the girl stand on the chair, you can do that though. But that is it for the build of the set. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. I don't have too much else to add with this box here. It's a very old looking box. And honestly, I really like the wear and tear on this one. Yeah, it has a bit of dirt and gunk, but this looks like something I could just kind of display on a shelf. And you know what, I might just do that. As for the set's paper materials, this one has an instruction, which of course shows very simple steps on how to build the set. Nothing too special there. But there are some interesting ads at the back. Those over there are a different type of figure that preceded many figures, and I do have a few sets of that, so I'll be reviewing those soon. Another homemaker set here. What's really interesting about this one is that the base plate is a red base plate, first off, which are very hard to get. And also, it doesn't have studs in the middle. There's only studs at the end. Interesting configuration, if you ask me. Over here is another homemaker set with a similar base plate configuration. And this is another homemaker set. I would love to get one of these with those base plates. Another one seems to be like a fireplace. And this one, which seems to have an old lady and even some mirrors. Very cool things. And honestly, with this set, maybe I'll be buying more of these. I just got to look at eBay after I film this review. Other than that, there's another catalog in here. Very small one. But this is for Duplo or Lego Basic. And then you got for year three. That looks to be some homemaker slash basic sets. The bottom some more homemaker sets which this one right here is a pretty controversial set looking back people don't really talk about that one the indian set that's what it's called just quoting the name anyways for older kids there's some more advanced models uh, some early minifigure-esque things like i showed earlier and yeah a lot of these look like the same ones that were at the back of the instructions so nothing too special there so either way, it's really cool to take a look at some of these older stranger Lego minifigure type predecessors. The design of this one is something that I've seen a lot in the Lego fan community, but I never knew how they actually worked. So it's cool to have these two on hand. Maybe one day I'll buy more homemaker sets because I actually quite enjoyed building this one. But that's it for now. Let me know what you think of this set and these figures in the comments. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.